Hey everybody, Gulf Coast TDC here. Got another quick unboxing and first impressions for you. Saw the thumbnail, you know. So, picked this guy up uh, on urbanedc.com. So, um, Matsy, I hope I'm saying that right. Matsy, Matsy. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm assuming is the designer. So, let's just get right into it. Nice zipper pouch, nylon. It's uh, Feels to be of really good quality. Um, thank you note. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Okay, so looks like this is the designer. Maybe going by Matsy. So thematsy.com. Okay, check him out. Just want to see this knife. That's awesome. Got a sticker. Oh, I love stickers. All right. Um, snack pack. Just kidding. Don't eat that, kids. Um, See, so get this. What's this? Oh, okay. The band-aids. <laughs> Alright, either they know I'm clumsy or um that's a great joke. Uh probably just speaking to how sharp his knives are. So check out the knife. So, pretty nice. So this is the basilisk. Um, we know the word was around a lot longer than Harry Potter, but of course, you know, it's going to make me think of the basilisk of Harry Potter. Uh, it has the waves in there. The, I don't know, Sagaya, Sagaya. I don't know. I always butcher that. But I'm definitely a sucker for the pattern, even though I can't pronounce it very well. Uh, my F5.5 has the same pattern. Um, and they have another one, um, man, I'm going to forget the name of it. Uh, it kind of looks like a, a mini CRK. It almost looks like a mini Sebenza. Um, not sure. I think I might pull the trick on that one too. But uh, so this is the Basilisk. So uh, it does have the wave pattern there. They have it in two versions, this and then also um, a black version that I think the Blade's DLC. Um, so nice pocket clip. So, yep, that's good stuff. Um, all titanium. I say all, I mean, you know, the scales are titanium. It's got a nice backspacer here with the Matsy logo. Um, they're numbered, so it looks like we got 105. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, it's a frame lock. Looks like you can flip it, so... You can throw some flip action on it, maybe. We'll see how that works. Or thumb studs. Um, I'm just going to be honest, I'm not much of a flipper guy. Uh, all right. So that flips out really nice. And we kind of look at the blade. So blade's got a stonewash finish on it. It's really nice. You got some jimping up top. It's nothing super aggressive. You can feel it, but it's, it's really rounded over, actually. So you can rest your hand there. I don't know how much traction you'll get out of it, though. Thumb studs are nice. Got a nice height to them. If my, yeah, there we go. Nice little height to them. Easy to grab, but not anything obnoxious. Um, let's see. So the clothes is a little stiff, but after a little while, it's gonna be super drop shetty. Um, little flipper nub on the back there you can see it's it's got some milling on it uh, not super aggressive but okay so you can flick it out by that and it flicks out pretty easy um, but you do not get some nice satisfaction um, you're not gonna get any snicked out of that um, it's really kind of soft feeling um, when it shoots out I mean it's you just, I don't know, you just can't get enough power behind it. It's just gonna kind of molasses open. You know, it's nice, it opens, uh, it's very reliable. Um, but it is not going to give you that that feeling or that sound. Um, but man, that's nice. Um, kind of take a look at uh, a couple size comparisons. Let's try something different. So um, I got a Kaiser Bug Eye here. Uh, just reviewed that. Um, 
and I've been carrying that. This guy is uh, just an awesome knife. I still can't believe this thing's like seventy dollars. Um, so this, um, let's see, what do we got here? Here's a here's an all-access pass pry bar. Um, let's see, here's a here's a Milwaukee fastback. Kind of see that uh, Milwaukee Vastback's pretty pretty close. The bug guy is really close. I mean, they're almost identical in size, really, um, and also kind of thickness. Uh, blade's a little thicker on the bug guy because um, yeah, kind of this drop point blade here, and this one's a little beefier, almost spear uh, style blade. Um, so you know, decent size comparison here. You can kind of see. Um, let's see. Let's throw. A, a baton two down here so you can kind of if you don't have any of those kinds of things maybe you got an old light you can kind of see what the size looks like so um the handle the scales on this guy are the exact size of a uh, baton two so if you happen to have one of those you'll know exactly that is sometimes the biggest thing for me when i'm looking at these especially on the websites is like you know i don't know how i don't know how the size is really gonna be in real life right like it looks like a decent size knife. Um, and now I will say, specifically on Urban EDC, there's sometimes a, a shot of a knife holding, uh, being held by someone, you know, but there's nothing that gives you any kind of uh, feeling of what size it really is. Um, you know, nothing in the background or something you could identify, but you kind of see this is a good size knife. Um, this is a nice size EDC. The kind of little cutout there is nice for your hand. Some jimping right there. Um, you can get a good purchase on there. Um, now you're not going to have a bunch sticking out, um, especially once you kind of go down into where this finger slot is. Um, but it's a good feeling knife. Um, no hot spots, nothing like that. Um, yeah, just a real solid EDC candidate for sure. Um, opening and closing is just such a breeze. Uh, man, that snicked when it flies out is very satisfying. Um, you know, there are no markings on the blade that I can see. I have to look pretty sure this is uh, M390 on this guy. Um, so yeah. Man, that's just a good looking, well made knife. Uh, I've never had any issues with anything that I got from Urban EDC. Uh, their stuff always top quality. If you can get it, that's the only downside, I guess, to Urban EDC. Uh, sometimes you have to be quick in order to get something that you want. Sometimes you have to be quick in order to get something that you want. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, I also just noticed that, you know, on our show side, we don't have uh, a Torx here, so looks like just on the on the opposite side so that's pretty nice for us like aesthetics right um, that's pretty cool just notice that yeah it's it's even now kind of getting a little bit more drop shutty and less stiff so you know as time goes on this thing's definitely gonna gonna get super drop shutty yeah Yeah, pretty nice. Um, lock bar is nice, has a nice lock up to it. Um, you know, it's not crazy hard to push it away. Um, it's not super easy either, it's not real sloppy. Like, you gotta put a little pressure on it, um, but it's not crazy. It feels really good, just solid in the hand. You just feel the quality. Um, really nice. Uh, you know, it really reminds me of the F5.5 if you have one of those. Um, just how it's kind of substantial feeling, you know, um, in the hand. So, yeah, really looking forward to carrying this. Um, just tell me what you think. Do you guys have one? Uh, do you shop there a lot? As always, uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, uh, like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. And, uh, Again, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.